What's up everybody out there in Facebook land, YouTube land. Welcome to bodybuilding.com. My name is Michael Lee. I am a bodybuilding.com 2018 spokesmodel search finalist and I'm also a bodybuilding.com ambassador. So a little bit about me. Um, seven years ago, I was about 232 pounds. Uh, I had a 40 inch waist and uh, I had pre-diabetes. Um, my dad passed away in 2005 due to complications from diabetes type 2 and that prompted me to take a hard long look at my personal health and fitness. So in 2010 I just began to do uh, workouts that I did in the military. I'm, I'm an Army, U.S. Army veteran so I just did running, push-ups, sit-ups. I eventually joined a gym and joining the gym changed my life. You see, I'm in the gym right now, the world famous bodybuilding.com headquarters gym. And when I joined the gym, everything just totally changed for me. Not only did I change my diet, but my physique began to change. And I actually did my first physique competition in 2013 and I won my first show. And since then I've done about 20 uh, physique shows and I've won about 12 physique shows and I am now a world champion with the drug-free muscle mania and I am just so glad to be here with you guys to share my back workout um, I, I use a very simple approach but intense approach to weightlifting and I just try to keep uh, keep my body working optimally you know uh, coming in the gym and working out it not only helps uh, your body but it also helps your mind too there's tons of research studies that talks about the importance of, of weightlifting, the importance of resistance training, and it don't, not only keeps you younger physically, but mentally it keeps you sharp. So today we're gonna run through a number of exercises. Uh, most importantly, we're gonna start with the deadlift. I love the deadlift. If I just had one workout to pick from the gym, it would definitely be deadlifts because it, it simply works the core, it works the legs, it taxes the whole body and you guys will see that I'll get really taxed today with deadlifts and I have a few more back, up, back workouts for you guys so let's just get right into it. So we'll start here um, with the deadlifts but before we start with deadlifts I usually like to warm up my back a little bit. You know uh, warm muscles will definitely fire a little bit better than cold muscles so I usually like to warm up on the back extension machine and you know for the for uh, time purposes you know, I'm just going to do like 10 reps but you can do several sets of 10, several sets of 20. Um, so for back extensions just like to breathe at the top and just I'm just letting that lower back know hey we're about to do some work here. So you can feel this through your core. Even in your glutes, you can use this to activate your glutes. Do three more. Three, two, and one. So that's just letting my body know like, hey, we're priming it. And you know, as I do those, I just kind of visualize. I'm a big visualizer. I like to visualize things. I like to see it happen. Um, I like to visualize myself lifting that weight. Um, so my, generally speaking, I usually do around four to five sets of 10. I always try to go for 10 um, and I do a drop set usually on my last set. So I'm going to start deadlifts out with two plates on each side and I'll do, uh, I'll do a set of 10. So, and what I like to use for deadlifts are straps. Some people like straps, some people don't. These are cool bodybuilding.com straps. You can pick that up at bodybuilding.com. Um, so I like to use straps because I use my arms a lot during the week. Um, I love to do arm day and if you tax your arms too much on back day then it really shaves a lot off of arm day but you know we want the, we want the gun so we want guns to have their separate day so we, I, that's why I use the straps to spare my forearms and still allow me to pull some, some nice and heavy weight. Uh, also on back day especially for deadlifts and uh, back rows uh, uh, barbell rolls. I like to use my belt. So go ahead and put my belt on. You can pick up a belt on bodybuilding.com. You know, there's, you know, some people like to use it. Some people don't. It's all on personal preference, but I like to use it. I've been using a belt ever since I joined the gym in 2000 
in uh, 2010, so I just rolled with it. All right, guys, so really simple to use the straps. Um, let's just pull it through. And what I love about these straps is that they have some padding on there. There are some straps without padding, but I like the ones with padding because it doesn't rip apart your skin. And another thing that I do on uh, deadlift day, I wear pants. I might have to take the pants off so you can see, see the leg gains too. I, I work my legs too. But um, you keep the bar close to your body, close to your shins. So, you know, I'm a physique athlete. One of many things I do, I have a day job, but I also compete. So I don't want my, skin, my shins all skinned up. So that's why I wear pants specifically uh, when I deadlift. So we'll get into the first, first set here. So usually I do uh, shoulder, shoulder by shoulder width apart. Here, the other strap on. Here. And I usually tuck it under and just kind of wrap it around here. So for deadlifts, you know, there's a certain technique that you have to use. I'm not gonna get too technical with it, but you want to make sure that, you know, your, your head is up, your back is in a neutral position, not sunk in and not hunched over, and you wanna just go straight up. So here we go. Keep that bar. Close to your body. Two more. And so these are bumper plates, so they're rubber. Um, if some gyms have a policy where they don't want you to slam it down so you could put mats underneath. Fortunately, these are bumpers, so they're made more like CrossFit uh, plates, so they're made for you to, uh, to drop them down. But I, I like to uh, control the weight a lot. Big thing is control. Never sacrifice weight over control. You always wanna control your weight. And generally speaking, uh, I go up two to three times uh, in weight for each exercise. And I also use a interval timer app. So it's a free app. You can get it on Android. You can get it on the uh, Apple store. And I time myself every 30 seconds. I know if I hear two beeps, I rest 30, uh, 60 to 90 seconds between each set. So I know that if I hear two to three beeps, then it's time for me to get back into my next set. So I'll go ahead and start it and you guys will hear it in the background. I love deadlifts. Like I said, when I first started, I avoided deadlifts. I didn't know the importance of them, but now it's a really a staple in my, uh, in my workout program. I'm known for my legs. People know me for my legs, strong back. Uh, so this exercise of like, you just have to go into the gym. You only do one exercise, do this one. All right, guys, set two. So, strap ups go here. Like I said, I love these straps because they're padded. So, you don't uh, get the skin on your, on your hands all screwed up. All right, guys, let's go. Control that weight. And pull at the top. Three more. Two. One. So Mike, we have a question from YouTube. Yes. Has there ever been anything that demotivated you what was it and how did you still push through it? Uh, demotivation, a lot of times if you mistime your nutrition, you know, you don't get enough carbs in. So you go to the gym, you start lifting, and you just walk out on like your first set or, you know, a, a weight that you usually breeze through. You struggle with it. So that part kind of sucks. And I'm not afraid to leave the gym 
go get something to eat, come back a few hours later or the next day. You know, in the gym, you got to leave your pride at the door. You know, you got to respect the weights. And you got to respect your body. Um, also from YouTube, Roger asks, who were some positive influences in, you, or in your life when you started your, or pursuing your fitness career? So two major uh, positive influences in my life, two guys, one Obi Obadike. So he's Steve Harvey's personal trainer now, but him and I, we've known each other for years. I've, saw, I've seen him come up, he's like a, a big brother to me. So he, he's actually, a, he's wrote, written many articles that I've used in my life on bodybuilding.com. And the other person is uh, C.T. Fletcher. C.T. Fletcher, he's been here. He's done real, some really cool videos here. Um, and he was signed to uh, Isotory for a while, and I had a chance to meet him in person. And he came to Denver. And before I even turned pro as a bodybuilder, as a physique athlete, he, he thought I was a pro. He told me I'd be a pro. And that it finally happened year, a year or so after he told me that. So C.T. Fletcher and Obi DK, those are two living legends in my opinion. All right, so let's get to set three. So th set three, I'm actually go up a plate on each side, load them up, load them up. This is my favorite part. You know, you get to go up and wait a little bit, challenge yourself, push yourself, you know, get that central nervous system going, body is warmed up, you get a sweat going, and that's how I know I'm having a good workout. If I'm sweating like now, got a little sweat going, you know, I'm not a huge fan of cardio. You know, cardio is great for heart health. Um, too much of it can start eating away at your muscles. As long as you have a high protein diet, you'll be good. But you're really putting yourself at risk when you do tons of cardio. So that's why I like my weights to be my cardio, getting in a good sweat session. Just get it going. All right, guys, set three. And these straps feel so awesome. So awesome. Go in here, tuck it under. Nice grip. All right, let's get it, baby. Days of the weight feel lighter than others. Uh, question from Twitch. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm doing beginner machine circuits at the gym now. When should I start adding free weights and new exercises? Anytime you want. You know, that's the beauty of working out. You know, each one of us is kind of like our own universe, and what I do may not necessarily be what you need to do, and what you do may not apply to me. There are some basics. You know, deadlifts, squats. Those are, you know, military press, some basic exercises that I think everyone could benefit from, unless you have some type of medical or bodily function condition, so. All right, so another question from YouTube. Apart from deadlifts, what other exercise or advice would you give your younger self? Younger self, yeah, I go back and look at an article that was written on me um, about six months after I first started my body transformation. And I was like, I don't do squats and I don't do deadlifts. So I was born genetically with big, thick legs. And then when I actually started to do squats, do leg press, do deadlifts, it just brought out a just insane amount of muscularity. And that actually helped me win a world champion, a muscle model championship with Muscle Mania. So. <laughs> so I'm a bit unorthodox. I never chase PRs. Um, I chase volume. I want to push more weight for um, push more weight on average per exercise. So if I'm new to the gym and I'm doing four sets of you know 135, 
you know, year after year, I should be able to look back in my journal um, to say, wow, now I can do, you know, 225 for three sets. You know, so it's all about that progression over time. And so I don't chase PRs per se, but I chase an increase in, in volume. All right. Hey, hydration is important. You got to drink water. Um, for those of you who like pre-workout especially, you know, that caffeine, it'll, it can dehydrate you. So BCAAs, uh, water. You can pick this water bottle up on bodybuilding.com and your BCAAs too. You're getting a shout out. This is from Facebook. Uh, yes. Ryan White says, hey, love seeing my boy doing big things. This is awesome. Ryan White, so he's a friend of mine. We uh, traveled to Las Vegas together recently in November and we both competed in uh, Muscle Mania. Uh, we both did really well. I won the Muscle Model, World Muscle Model title. He placed really high in all his categories. So thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that, brother. All right, let's lock, let's lock this last set out. You know, this last set is just about digging deep. If you can pull off more reps in 10, pull them off, because this is, this is the end of this exercise. So this time we're gonna start, you know, it's all about balance. So I'm gonna start on this side, get a tighter grip. And I'll make my way over here. And let's pull off these last 10. All right, guys, let's go. One more. That's how you push it. You know, as I got a little fatigued at the end, but that's okay. That's what it's about. Keep pushing. Uh, so this is from Elizabeth on Facebook. She yes. says, great work, Michael. Uh, what do you do to push yourself on those days when your body does not respond properly to hitting the gym? I'm a big believer in listening to your body. Um, you have to know that if you're too fatigued or if you're under the weather, you know, there's no need to go and risk injury if you're not feeling 100%. I mean, there's literally times that I'll sit in the parking lot in the gym for 10, 15 minutes deciding do I feel good or not. So it's all about, over the years, you'll learn your body like, uh, you know, I had shoulder surgery, or collarbone surgery a few years ago playing softball. And uh, so I know like I can't go chest day, shoulder day, back day. That's too much for my shoulder, but I can still grow if I space at a rest day in there. So I'm a big believer of two rest days per week. Uh, so let's go with that. Kyle from YouTube asks, what's your typical split during the week? I do a push, push, pull, leg split, or I do a push, rest, leg, pull split. I mix it up, but is, I'm, I'm getting in at least two pulls, two pushes, and one leg per week, and I add in, uh, add in two rest days per week. And uh, you reach out to me on uh, um, social media, then I'll point you to some of my other lifting protocols. This question is from Twitch. How do you rank the different forms of deadlifts with regards to effectiveness and or results? Um, I think it depends on your goal and your body type. You know, some of them like the wide stands, um, sumo lifts. I just like the standard lifts. Some people like to do an overhand underhand grip. Now, what I noticed that sometimes people don't reverse their grip and they'll get an imbalance in their back. So that's why I like to use the strap so I could keep two hands on the bar at all times and just develop that really strong imbalanced back. All right, guys. So finish up with the deadlift. You see, it got me windy. This is exactly how I should feel, and hopefully how you should feel when you do lift. You feel challenged, you don't feel too fatigued. You know, I can still talk to you guys, I'm um, not dying, um, but that's how you should feel. So now we're gonna go into a uh, back row. So we're gonna keep this bar here. There's no way in hell I'm gonna row three plates on each side. So you gotta 
learn how to train hard, but train smart. And uh, if any of you got questions about my shoes, these are the latest LeBron, well, these are the LeBron James shoes he wore last playoffs. So I like them, they're very comfortable, um, easy to slip on and slip off. Maybe I'll, I'll show you guys my legs in a bit. So. Uh, chat wants to know how many different pairs of shoes do you own? I am a shoe fanatic. I offloaded a lot of shoes, but look, I wear size 15. So it's always my thing, you know, growing up in the hood. Yeah, I have nice shoes, you can have nice clothes, but the shoes, can't have bummy shoes and big feet. They, it just doesn't work out. So I like shoes, I like Air Jordans. I'm not really an Adidas guy. Nike, uh, Air Jordans is mostly my deal. All right, guys, so these are back rows. So what you wanna do, I like an underhand grip and just pull that bar. And what you wanna focus on is squeezing, squeezing your back as tight as you can. Uh, sometimes I'll use the strap, sometimes not. So let's go strapless for this first one and see how it goes. So here, tighten up this belt just a tad bit. All right, so here, come here first. Oh, pull back. And I'll show you guys how that looks from the side. So from here, I'm just gonna do three sets of these. Um, so from here, you know, it's all about squeezing, squeezing the back. All the exercises that I'm showing you today basically helps you work your whole entire back. Nice developed back, get the wings going, and uh, strong back. That's why I like back, because you can mix in a lot of different exercises. Dumbbells, cables, and you'll see. Question from Facebook. Allison asks, what would you say to a newbie girl feeling intimidated by the guys in the free weights section of the gym? A newbie girl feeling intimidated. You know, I just say have confidence. Be who you are. You know, nobody can really venture too far away from who they are. You know, it comes with just knowing yourself, believing in yourself. And if you want to talk to somebody, be friendly with them, you know, go talk to them. Um, I get approached by people all the time, and especially like little kids and older people. And they say, oh, you have a nice physique. And I say, thank you. And you just never know what kind of conversations could start when you approach somebody in a friendly way. Um, Melanie on YouTube says, yay, exclamation point. I've followed this guy on IG for a while. He so deserves to win. He's got such an amazing transformation story, and he's so humble and encouraging. And what was her name again? Uh, Melanie, thank you very much. You know, it's just been a humbling experience over the last seven years. You know, I've done so much in my life and it, it really goes back to um, just dedicating myself to fitness. <laughs> Getting a little emotional. Um, you know, I've been in movies, TV shows. I've uh, had all type of opportunities. I've wrote, written a book and, but I, you know, I've won a world championship. There's nothing higher than that. But honestly, being here is a dream come true. It's just everything I worked for. And to be lifting in this place, so many legends have come through here. It's just so awesome to experience. All right, guys, let's get to that second set. I can't get too emotional here. All right, I'll show you guys the overhand grip too. Because I think it's all about options, guys. It's all about options. You know, when you go to the gym, you don't have to do things a certain way. Like I do it. But it's all about options. That's what made uh, Microsoft so successful. They gave you several different ways to save a file, to access a file. So I, that's why I give people several different ways to build your back, to do an exercise. So here, come up, squeeze. So several different ways to attack a muscle, attack the body. And that's what it's all about. That's why I love fitness, because you can really get into it and you can make it your own. 
So from YouTube, Gordon says, what does your typical nutrition look like for the day? How much protein do you take? Macros, carbs? So fats, carb. With that, with everything, you know, I'm a big proponent in high protein, moderate carb, moderate fat diet. Um, what I manipulate the most are my carbs. So you guys will see my transformation picture before. 232 pounds, 40 inch waist. So what comes with body fat, it's like a, a permanent container in your body. And it can get filled with fat. When you work out, it shrinks a little. When you lift weights, it shrinks. When you diet down, it shrinks. But guess what, that container is still there. Unless you get surgery to get it removed, they have like cool sculpting, some other different procedures nowadays. But unless you get it sucked out of your body, it's gonna be there. So me, I've always, I've, I was overweight for a period of time. Those fat cells are still there. So I tried to manipulate carbs, which can uh, take that extra water weight out of the cells. So high protein diet, moderate fat, and you adjust your carbs as you go. Uh, Willie from Facebook wants to know, what are your go-to supplements? Pre-workout, post-workout, etc. I only have three. Whey protein, creatine, and uh, pre-workout. So whey protein helps rebuild um, those broken down uh, muscles, help restore them faster, help you recover. Creatine is just known for helping you uh, build strength. And uh, pre-workout is that caffeine boost that you need sometimes or that you desire sometimes when you work out. So beyond those three, you know, you can add in BCAA, but it all depends on your budget and what your goal is. But I say those three, creatine, whey protein, and a nice and solid pre-workout are three staples. All right, let's finish up this last row, take some more questions. Feel free to ask some questions, guys. All right, like I said, I usually go up and wait. Nope. I'll go up and wait, 10, 20, uh, just making it work for me. Uh, so those are, we did deadlifts, excuse me, we did uh, barbell rows. So now we'll do, uh, we'll do pull downs. Uh, so these work your lats, build those wings up. Ladies, you can do them too. Everything that I'm doing here, ladies, you can benefit from it too. Don't let the myth of, oh, well, if I start lifting weights, I'll get bulky. No, it's only people who do certain things that get bulky. If your diet is in check and you're lifting weights, this is the healthiest thing for your teenager, uh, older Americans, older people, young people, everybody. Weightlifting is a great way to go. Just make sure you do it safe and you follow a structured program. YouTube asks, what are your exercise recommendations for somebody with lower back pain? Um, you may want to consult with your doctor. You know, I'm by no means a doctor. So if you're having some kind of medical issue, you know, get it approved through your doctor, let them know your plan. You're free to buy whatever plan you want. Like, you know, I offer workout plans, but it's called Five Fit Rules. But if you want to follow a plan and you have like no medical issues, always consult with your physician. Um, if you are with a therapist, consult with your therapist before you start a plan. Chris on Facebook asks, how long are your back workouts or workouts in general normally? Uh, generally speaking, up to 60 minutes, 45, 60 minutes. Back is a little bit more. You have more exercise as you're dealing with, you know, barbells. So you got to take the plates off, put them on. Um, about 45 minutes, usually do about six exercises. Today, I think I'm doing five. I'm doing one superset, so it's actually six. Um, so that, that's how I keep it short and sweet, give it an hour. That hour you put in is gonna be a lifetime uh, benefits of health and fitness. All right guys, so now we're gonna move on to pull down. So not every gym has these, this bag uh, lat pull down, but it, this grip is like super awesome. It allows you to really engage your, your lat. Um, so let's get right into it. We'll do four sets of 10. And um, like I said, what I like to do is increase the uh, weight with every, uh, every set. So I'll start this one, and every machine is a little bit different. You know, this is not 
It says 115, it might not necessarily be 115 pounds per se, because each manufacturer, this is made by Hoist, each manufacturer kind of does their own thing. All right, guys, first set here. So just a slight lean back and squeeze those lats. Full extension. And actually, you don't need your belt for this. You know, I only wear my belt for heavy lifting, anything with a barbell. Um, I definitely use it, so water break. Question from YouTube. What was that one moment or spark that caused you to change your life with regards to fitness? It was definitely the passing away of my dad. Um, growing up, I didn't know my dad. I didn't meet him until I was 13 years old. And after high school, I went to the Army. So I literally had like five years to know my dad and we did not like connect right away. After I got out, started to spend a little bit of time with him. I was like uh, 23 years old. And then two years after that, he died, unfortunately. Um, but I, I learned a lot through his death. I knew nothing about diabetes type two. I knew nothing about a healthy diet. When I was in the military, they feed you everything. You're not calculating any macros. You know, they're telling you what workouts to do. Even though I excelled at fitness in the military, you know, it was just stuff they told me to do. So I didn't know how to work out. I didn't know anything about um, nutrition. And then when my dad died, it forced me to go find places like bodybuilding.com where I got knowledge about nutrition, knowledge about proper lifting, knowledge about living a healthy and fit lifestyle, cool, cool clothes, um, and just uh, how to live that healthy and fit lifestyle. So bodybuilding.com has been an integral part in my seven year journey. They published my transformation story. They published my road to becoming a pro. They published, I was even on Me, uh, We Myron, where they highlight different physiques. So I love bodybuilding.com. Bodybuilding.com loves me. We're in this wonderful relationship. Um, how important is cardio for fat loss? Uh, minimal. I try to do like HIIT cardio. Like, you'll have a hard time recovering from HIIT cardio, but um, I do some cardio uh, every, every other day um, just for heart health. All right, set, uh, set two, guys. So I'm going to go up and wait, and we'll just do three sets of these. It's not a glamorous exercise, but it can help bring out the lats and make your back look much complete and get stronger. So lean back a bit. Hold down. All right, so this next set will be a drop set. And what a drop set is, I like to fail anywhere from six to seven reps, drop the weight down and finish out my reps. So just a quick little rest, swig of water, a question. Facebook asks, how long did it take you to break into the fitness industry and what's the best advice that you could give somebody trying to? So when I complete, when I first did my body transformation, I dropped about 30 pounds of fat in three months. After that, I was really lean. Like I sit in the chair and my butt muscles were literally gone. So I knew I had to start lifting more. Like I was doing 5Ks, 10Ks running. Um, so I did three to four photo shoots um, before I even did my first show. So basically I spent from 2010 to early 2013 building my body, did my first show in uh, NPC in uh, <clears throat> Colorado, and I won my first show and I've been competing after. Last set, guys. So I'm gonna go up to 175. Goal is to fail somewhere around six. And failing is not able to complete the rep properly. One, two. All right, that's five. Drop it down. One more. Benito. So 
That's what I like to do on my last set, is do a drop set to failure. In your opinion, what is the best shoe ever made? Best shoe ever made? Oh, that's a hard one. I say the, the Air Jordan 11s, by far. I had the low tops on yesterday. If you go to my Instagram, I got the low top black 11s with the clear bottom. It's just so comfortable. You can't tie them all the way up. Something's going on with the inner part, but I love them. Other than that, they're really comfortable and stylish. Um, do, you, do you sometimes do pull-ups or do you only do pull-downs to train your lats? You know what, because I, have, I had a collarbone surgery, my shoulder was fine, bicep, everything else intact, but they had to go in and scope out my collarbone. So doing pull-ups, the strength is not there. That's why I like doing the pull-downs. Every now and then I'll do pull-ups, but not too much nowadays. Facebook asks, why can't I feel a pump while I'm doing my back? exercises. You may need to sh uh, cut down the rest periods or increase the weight each set. There's so many variables. It's kind of hard to tell. You know, I had to watch you in the gym. So maybe you message me and just tell me what you're doing. I'll get back with you for sure. What is your best bodybuilding show pose? Uh, I'll say front double by. Got some of the abs going. So front double by. And sometimes I'll just stand there, but front double by definitely for the ab shot. So, yeah. All right, guys. So the next exercise we'll get into are dumbbell rows. So come over here. Um, what I like to do is move this one over here. So put my knee here, brace myself, and then you just pull up. Pull straight up. And this helps bring out more detail, especially like in your lower lats. And it also works your arms too. So, come over here, switch sides. Go. Make sure you breathe. Oh, so that helps bring out your lower lats. Definitely helps with the arms too. So, question from Twitch. Mm -hmm. If I have an injury and can't handle as much weight, can reps at lower weights still give a person good progress? Absolutely. They've done research studies about high reps, low reps, and what it comes down to, you'll grow at the same time. You go to some of Kai Green's videos, it's like doing 20 reps or something. Like, so science is proving that what he does work. Personally, I like to keep my rep range around 10. And I think a lot of it has to do with time under tension. So time under tension is actually the stop and start time you're controlling that weight. And that's generally around 30 seconds. The chat wants to see your back pump. Back pump? Yep. So here. Kind of hard to see it through this, through this tank. But, and you go to my Instagram page, Mike Lee Fit Life, and there are a few pictures on there. So, all right guys, let's get to the second set. We'll keep the same weight. Go back to the right side. With this exercise, always, always pick a weight you can control. Don't leave your ego at the door. Don't try to lift weight that's too heavy. You can always go up. Coming down bruises your ego even more. All right guys, let's go. Squeeze. All right, it's 10. Other side. And I'm really feeling this in my lats and in my arm. Let's go, 10.
one more. Ah. Woo. That pump, like Arnold talked about the pump and, uh, and pumping iron. And it's like no greater feeling. You're in the gym, you're lifting weights, you know you're healthy, you're looking good, and you're in the running to be the bodybuilding.com 2018 spokesmodel finalist. So I couldn't ask for a better moment than this. YouTube asked, is there any difference between doing one arm dumbbells on the bench or keeping your arm on the dumbbell rack? Um, there's no difference to me, it's just positioning. Um, I think if you're on the rack, you tend to go a little higher, where if you're on the bench, you know, you can, you're a little lower. So it's upper thickness versus a little bit lower thickness. Ultimately, it ends up being the same. All right, guys, think let's bang out this last set over here, and then we'll move on to uh, shrugs. We'll actually do shrug and reverse dumbbell, uh, reverse dumbbell superset. All right, guys, make it count. You know, it's these reps that really build the muscle. You know, those first sets are just warming up, but these sets are really like the muscle builders. All right. Got to make it count, baby. Not everybody can afford to go to the gym. Not everybody ha has the opportunity to go to the gym. So when I'm in here, when you're here, just make it count. Here we go. Woo! That's how you do it. Those are championship reps. Making it count. What is your perfect cheat meal? Ooh, <laughs> perfect cheat meal. Uh, you know what, I grew up in the 90s, Ninja Turtle fan. I'm gonna go with pizza. Give me a good deep dish pizza and let me go to sleep for a couple hours, I'm good. <laughs> Who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Michelangelo, Michael. <laughs> Uh, Dylan from Facebook asked, how many carbs do you take in pre and post workout? Uh, it depends on what my goal is. If I want to push more weight, um, like today, I got in about 50 to 75 grams of carbs. Um, I track everything um, through an app. It's called Lose It. It's a free app. Um, but I track all my macros. I'm telling you guys, that's the big secret to, to growing. Uh, to hitting your weight loss goal is knowing your macros. Fats, protein, carbs. And it'll even tell you how much fiber and how much sugar you're getting in. So definitely focus on tracking what you eat. I get in 50 to 75 grams of carbs uh, pre-workout. Some days I do none. So it all depends on what my goal is. Right now I'm pretty lean for this photo shoot. Um, so I keep my carbs pretty low. All right, guys. Last workout here. So this is gonna be something unique. I don't know if you guys ever saw it before, but this is a superset. So it's one exercise going directly to another without stopping for three sets. So this is gonna be a reverse, uh, reverse dumbbell fly. There's a machine back here where you sit on it, your pad is here. It's the same exercise. I personally, I love free weights. Don't get me wrong, the machines are good. I just love the feeling of free weights. Like C.T. Fletcher, he's like, oh, I love the sound of clanging of barbells. I love the sound of the way the, the plates sound when they cling together. So I love the feel of dumbbells in my hand. So we'll go 10, 10 uh, reps with the dumbbells and I'll come over here. Let me scoot these back and then we'll do some, uh, some, some shrugs. So this will work the inner back and it'll also work the traps. So for, the, uh, for the shrugs, I'll actually use the straps from bodybuilding.com, I remind you. Every, and everything I got on, I got some shirts on. You can even get these from bodybuilding.com. Every has it all. It has your training plan, all access. It's like the Netflix of uh, fitness content. 
all the plans that are on there, I'm telling you guys, is well worth the $8.99 that you pay. All right, so let's start this off here. Move that over. So I'm gonna bend down, raise up. You put those down, go directly into your shrugs. So shrugs, you just wanna go straight up. Actually, I mean, I need to strap. Straight up and down. Ah. Uh, so you can use the straps if you want. Usually if I go over 100 pounds, I use the straps. So honestly, a little stronger today, more carbs, so yeah. So Erica on Facebook asked, is there any way to not fatigue the forearms during dumbbell rows? Uh, dumbbell rows. Um, you know what, it's tough. You can use the straps, so that'll put a little relief there. So I had that same problem too. That's why I either use straps here or I'll use them there. Because, hey, you know, you want the guns. You just gotta sacrifice, you know, wearing the straps for them. <laughs> All right, guys, set two. Nope. All right, let's go. All right, come here. I usually put one foot forward. Come up. Oh. Give the ugly faces. Ah, uh, hey, I don't know anybody that makes cute faces when they do shrugs. Definitely not me. Ugly face mode, but you do it for the games. Uh, this question is from Twitch. Uh, they ask, what are some of the best apps for tracking calories? And uh, are there any tips do you have? So there's two big ones that I know of. Uh, My Fitness Pal, Lose It. I personally like Lose It. Maybe it's because I was using that when I first started my transformation. So I'm really familiar with the layout. And what I love it about it, both of them, you can build your own. It logs your like your own personal database. So if you eat a food all the time, you know it'll always be in there, and that gives you so much power over your body. You can't get the abs if you don't control your diet. Nothing matters in here if your diet is not on point. All right, guys, last exercise, superset. Let's get it. So here, you wanna make sure you're breathing and you get full extension. Ooh, guys, just kicking my butt today. All right, here we go, last one. Come on, one more, ah, yeah. I get vocal in the gym, guys, I love it. I'm here, bodybuilding.com headquarters. This is awesome, I love it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you tune in on Friday, uh, December 8th, and bodybuilding.com, they're going to announce um, the winner of the 2018 Spokesmodel Search Contest. So stay tuned. You can share this video, like it, show it to your grandma, your grandpa, your dog, anybody that's willing 
to listen to me. Because you know what, guys? I'm just a fella that started in fitness, overweight. And I'll show you guys my picture. You know, this is me here. That's 232 pounds, 40 inch waist, pre-diabetic, dad of three. And if I could do it, you could do it. No excuses, no matter what, never give up. Most importantly, never ever quit your dream. And don't let anybody else make you quit either. So it's Mike Lee, guys. Hope you had a great time. Let me know if you follow this program, if it works for you. Show bodybuilding.com some love. You can pick up all this apparel that I have on. Not the shoes, uh, but the wrist. Even this towel. Even this sweaty towel. You can pick it up at bodybuilding.com. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome, amazing fit day.